Okay, I won't lie. I played 30 minutes of this game before I realized I wasn't recording. So, great work, me. Um, let's play. Because I've already played some of this, and obviously it hasn't recorded. Not, it wasn't like a live stream that I, I you know, haven't recorded and I had, had to cut it out separately. This is just I was recording off offline, and it's gone. Right, so we're going to do a new game. I am definitely recording now. Um, I had an assassin there. We are going to save over that. <laughs> and I will continue to be the assassin. So, Bro, the gladiator, the longest standing grand champion, Bro fights to save his allies from damnation by defeating the Empress Midrada. Using his strength to wield huge weapons with ease, Bro is most proficient with great swords, pole arms, and maces. Orly, the assassin, a child of the ancient order. Aurelie trained her whole life for this moment. She aims to slay the Empress Midrada and restore balance to the world as she was born to do. Using her agility to baffle foes, Aurelie is most proficient with bows, pole arms, katars, pole arms, and daggers. I actually did use a pole arm with her, and I was like, I don't know if she's proficient with that, but now I've confirmed that she is. Idumon, the mage, the high mage of Viridian, Idumon. Best understands the workings of his dark, of this dark new world and believes defeating Midrada is the most crucial step in his, step in his own deific journey. Using his intelligence to heighten his power, Idumon is the most proficient with spells, staves, maces, and daggers. We're gonna be the, mate, the, 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 the assassin. Not because she was like particularly amazing or anything or super fun. Specifically, it's uh, I feel like more. I feel like the two main first characters would be similar. Oh yeah, I forgot this little, uh, this little intro is nice, this little, um, the way that it kind of, the, uh, look, everything's a D20 by the way, even if it's a bottomless health potion or a key, that's a really weird thing, um, the, this tutorial thing, the Naruto run with the keyblades, yeah, we're in, we're out, open the door, hey, there's a door, wrong way, okay, uh, there was a, Bad guy around here? No? Okay. Let's get the book. Mern and Viridian City. View. I've just arrived on the borders of the of Viridian... Isn't Viridian City a place in Pokemon? Isn't that a town? Uh, it was... Almost definitely is. It was quite the trip. I'm astonished that I met nobody else on the road, save for one old chuckling merchant. He was, well, curiosity. I've come here from my village to study a strange disease that is said to alter the mind of those afflicted. Many of my fellow scholars told me not to come, that the plague here was likely too far spread for us to do any good. But I'm here anyway. And I've le already learned something. The banners on the walls fly a new insignia, marking the rule of a new empress. This will be quite the educational journey indeed. Yeah, we know who she is. We're about to murder her. Chopping boxes is available. It's po available. It's possible. But um, I don't think I've ever found anything in a box. So this is also going to say, like... Oh, yeah, door cave key. So the first time I came down here, I was like, all right, yeah, sure. And then I realized, wait a minute, this D20 that was a health potion is now also a key. So that's... Don't like that. I have got to say I really don't like that because every item looks the same, which means you have to collect every item. You have to get every item because there might be a key that you need. You don't know if it's going to be garbage or if it's a key. I can't look over and be like, oh, it looks like a health potion. It's like, no, you've got to get one. Like Dark Souls, everything just looks like a little spark on the ground, right? That, I, I think that might be what they're going for. Like, it, it forces you to... forces you to get everything. Let's roll out of it. Chop that guy. Dodge, 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 dodge! We have a block. Chop. Chop. Oh! Double stab! Oh my god, I didn't click a second time. There you go, I'm blocking, I'm blocking. Come on. We roll away. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Shards of light. They are our souls, of course. Let me how we level up. I really love how she runs. It's ridiculous. The, you have yet to see the best part of the game, though. It, it's going to happen in a second. You'll hear it. Keep your ears peeled. That's That sounds gross. Keep your eyes... Eyes peeled is a gross idea as well, but ears peeled sounds weird. It's this is what I was using, the Lin Shao. Let's, uh, let's... You see, it's so much better. The attack speed is way down. 
but the impact and the damage is way up and the impact i think is kind of what matters because we still have the shield as well the impact is like knockback i guess now listen you're about to hear it the best part of the game no no, no. i need to show you this first i get it all right all right all right you hear that I don't know why, it's like some Last of Us music or something. I feel like Joel's going to be just plucking away the guitar. Arrow bundle. The music's so weird. It's, it just doesn't suit the mood at all. It's like this folksy little... Little... Uh, bluesy riff. In this dungeon. It's just it's terrible. I think it's such a silly... Juxtaposition, but I kind of love it. Chop boxes. I don't know why, even though I know there's nothing in these boxes, I still feel like I have to chop them. Um, you. My sergeant has tasked our troop with completing a series of archery contests dotted around the city. She had legion mages enchant pedestals to spawn these flying spell bugs. We have to shoot each pedestal's spell bugs out of the air with only five arrows, or else the pedestals will reset themselves. I'm so frustrated I can't even hit the broadside of a goat cheese cart. Maybe my brother Jabby can show me how to shoot better. So we're going to open this. We're going to get a bow. We are going to equip said bow. We are going to activate the pedestal. Okay. Um, and we're going to get this chest. Pick up. Katars. Um, I don't remember if they were any good. 1-4, but damage down to 17. Whereas this is up to 25. So we're definitely going to equip this. I can't pick these extra quivers up for some reason, these quivers of arrows. Now, I would go down there normally, but I did have to run all the way back around to get this little secret, so I'm going to do it the first time. Fall down here, and then we're going to fall down here, and there we are. You'll see that lightning spark. I didn't see that chest up there last time. Oh, how do I get that? How do I get that chest? Let's kill some guys first before we start looking out to get up there. Bash attack. I don't remember that. Oh, dodge, dodge. There we go. Dodge. Got to make sure we've got the stamina. That's all. It's just, you know how it is. Let's do the bash attack. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bash attack doesn't seem like a bash. It just seems like a heavy. Oh, my God. Go. Yeah. 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 How is that not lunge? I'm doing it. This, this is the lunge. I'm, I'm pressing the buttons. You mean shift and run? How, how is this not... Oh, you've got to tap them at the same time. That's what it was. I remember she did that before, and it always misses. Every time it misses. But now I know how to do it. So I'll never trigger it again. I have lost some health. Not good. We do have his Estus flasks. I know I didn't read. I told you it misses every time. I... Oh, it worked! Triggered! Some more souls. I think we need like 200 souls or something to level up. I think I leveled up twice. Maybe once, actually, in, uh, in the time I was playing, so... I was playing for about 30 minutes as well. I got through this area, which... That's, it's not very long, but... Oh! I'm coming for you! Yes! So that we we know how to use the lunge attack now. We just wait for those. Oh yeah, it's good. It's a big thing. Oh, what? How did that not hit you? Oh, this is new. This is pretty pants of light. One looks down, it's worth a few shards. I found some like silver spiders or something that were worth a lot of shards, but we never found a place to sell them. So, oh, I don't remember coming in here either. Acid shot. Oh, I don't think I did come in here. Although, I never figured out how to actually cast spells. Right, so that is the spellcaster guy, who doesn't even seem to attack us. I've ki I killed like four of them and they never attack me. Lightblade. Nah, nah. Sticking with the this thing. Let's sneak up on him. It's kind of stupid. Oh! Get decimated by the lunge attack, right? Lunge attack, best attack. We figured it out. Um, I don't know how to get that chest. I don't know how I would ever be expected to get that chest. 
to be honest. I, I definitely can't jump that far. Hey, there's a book there that we missed. Oh, parents sent my brother and I from our small village to Viridian City to, to become Pokemon Masters. To enlist in the city guard and make good wage here. Um, and make a good wage here. Oh, Cabby, my bookworm of younger brother, really does make an awful soldier. The combat instructors here are very harsh, and Cabby seems to learn better from, from reading than from doing. So I'm going to write him a combat manual to help him finish training. Combat lesson number one. Don't run out of stamina. Without stamina, you can't run. Attack, block, or dodge. So meter out your actions with enough space between to catch your breath before attacking again. Good advice. Very good advice. I think I will pop in here and just use a bottomless potion. Bottomless does mean they just restore upon um, resting. However, I have to say, I'm pretty sure I rested at one point in the game, just further up, and the enemies didn't respawn. I'm sure that's what happened. So... Yeah, there's no way we can make that jump. So how do we, how, how does it? I'm very confused about that. Surely we can't make that jump. I don't think, the only jump we have is that. Uh, yeah. And I'm gonna die from all damage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, a, I wonder if there's like a special spell from wizard or maybe the strong guy can do like a, Massive jump attack or something. I have no idea. But uh, not us. As the lowly assassin rogue. Anything? No. Let's move on then. I wonder if we had to shoot something with an arrow. You know, that's that's also what I'm thinking. Maybe there's like a, a puzzle around where maybe you hit something with an arrow. Yeah. It'll open up a little. Yeah. Not you. I'm talking about you hitting things with an arrow. There we are! Checkpoint nearby! Joel's nearby, plucking a little song for us. Look, we activated the checkpoint, but the guys don't seem to come back. Maybe if you rest, if they do, is that what I'm thinking? Ah, I don't think I rested, I think I just activated them. Now that I'm resting, I bet they all come back, for sure. Yeah. Th that guy did, but maybe the other ones did. We'll find out. So that should heal my, should bring my Estus flasks back full. Did it? It did. Why am I not using the bow? Um, it's not great. Doesn't do that much damage and I've got to actually make shots with it. So not really worth it, to be honest. Yeah, good yeah. 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 Right. Let you do that, and then we'll just finish you, and now we can focus on you. You're gonna miss, because you're an idiot, and then we'll just chop you away. The other guy down there. Oh, I'll get him before we move back. Alright, yeah, that's what was happening with the lunge last time I played. Just never hit. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna sidestep you every time. You are... Kind of garbage at your job. Aim at where I'm going, not aim at where I am. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Never played Space Invaders. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Ah, this place was locked and I never found the key. Do um, yeah, Doc's alcove key. Could have been in that chest. I never found the key, so it could have been in that chest. We can go uh, over here. I, th I said this looks like it's going to fall apart. And it... It didn't. <laughs> but I also said, you see how we break these boxes and get this item? If this did want to be a real Souls-like game, an enemy should drop down and follow us out here. Like a tough enemy. That was such a Dark Souls thing to do. Take you out onto a long platform and then trap you there with an enemy that you have to fight one-on-one -on -one to go back and you have to not fall off of the edge. Very Dark souls -y, Just like total bullshit nonsense. Um, we figured out this puzzle. It was just count... How, which one has one? There's only one of something, and it's that Y. So, that Y. What's the four of? And it's the ES. What is the two of? And it is the VC. The chesty poo. I think we get another magic thing in here. Yeah. Now, let me show you about the magic. 
spell rating. Missing proficiency, missing proficiency, missing proficiency. When I activate... I, I don't have any crystals, it says, down there, right? So, to you get crystals, we can use some of these. And then I never tried again to use magic. So I'm going to run over to this guy right now, and I'm going to try and use a magic attack. But that does mean we have to go into the menu, which is just bizarre. Oh, he's actually doing something. Holy crap. Um, Acid shot. Not proficient. All right, so we can't do anything anyway. We can level up now, though. We have the souls for it. We needed 100 souls to level up. So, yeah, so even though we've got the... We've got, like, the magic... I guess, like, spell slots. I don't know. Like, we can... We've got an amount of casts we can use. But we don't have the proficiency anyway, so it doesn't matter. Over the water, carried by... Oh, wait. Over the water, carried by waves. Ships come and ships go into the caves. Ships come with treasure found out at sea. Others with people, servants like me. I file the papers signed by my hand. Even though most wares are contraband over the water, carried by waves. Ships come and ships go into the sea caves. A bookkeeper in the Seafarer's Guild. And master. Master poet. Absolutely fantastic. Great writing. Excellent um, rhyming scheme. Very uncouth. Okay. Yeah, we can't get that yet, but we can go onto the boat and get it in a second. So. I did get past this area, and there's like a big town after this. So we get this. Tiny spider figure, there you go, worth many shards. And I did go up here to get this item. Obviously, there's got to be an item at the end of the mast here. Ice shard. Ooh, no, doesn't matter anyway. We've got, like, fire, ice, lightning, acid. We've got everything we could need, but we can't cast any of them. These, look, use this item to gain two magic extra mage crystals. That's great, but we don't... We can't cast them anyway. So I was very curious. I was, I was thinking, maybe I'll play the mage again the second time around, but because the recording of me playing the assassin never went up anyway... It, I was just like, eh, I guess I should kind of go through my first, you know, how I felt when I first played it. Venomous Rambo. I do Rambo. Um, I do remember thinking this was garbage. Why? Oh, yeah, it's just less damage. Way less damage, but it adds poison, which might be a good thing. But poison's damage over time, and damage is damage instantly. So unless it does a lot of damage over time, it's not something we need to care about. Esmeralda's Bounty. I love boats. There are always so many boats here in the docks, and I love to go to the harbour and watch them come and go. It's kind of funny. I always see so many people getting off of boats. Um, getting, seeing more people getting off of the boats than I ever see getting onto them. Um, I want to get on a boat. My dad told me there's a big boat in the caves nearby Esmeralda's Bounty. He called it the Jewel of the Seafarer's Guild. I hope he takes me to see that boat in the docks. Um, one of the main annoyances that I had, that's me pressing number one, three, four, seven, eight, nine, whatever, is I have to go here to change my weapon and stuff, and there's this stored. You can store things. Wait, no, 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 that's toggle store, but then you can store this, and you can store things away so you don't have to worry about them, and then you can see the stored things, right? So, at first, I did that, and I was like, oh, maybe that means I can kind of... I can kind of switch between them quickly in combat, right? Like, in Dark Souls, you know, it's like tap, tap right or whatever to go through some items or press up on the D-pad or whatever, go through some items. And it's, uh, in this game, you can't do that, though. So if I want to change between my bow, because I want to make a quick range shot, or I want to do some magic, I have to go into the menu and change the item. So it really prevents me from even trying that. It just means, what am I going to do? I'm really just going to... Well, that sucks. Roll away. Um, what am I going to do? I'm obviously I'm kind of just going to stick to this same strategy because it's it's more an annoying than anything else going into the menu every time. So I'm just not going to do that. And that kind of that kind of sucks because I wanted to be like, you know, make a few shots from here, um, get the enemy to run towards me, then quickly jump out. But to do that, I have to make the shots, then go into the menu, find the weapon and equip it again. It's just It's just more effort than... It's worth, you know, if it was just you could press one and switch between two weapons or press two and switch between your shield and a spell book. It, it just seems more, it, it's quicker and it's more engaging. Whereas going doing this every time, uh, yeah, which weapon do we want to go to? Uh, 
All right, let's change to the bow. We'll go pew, pew, and then, okay, now he's running over here. Go back into the menu, stop the game. Which weapon did we have on? Um, it was this, and it's just, I, I don't know. I wish they'd go re-look at that again, basically. Um, there are a few rare folk that walk this world, existing both corporeally in our physical domain, but also ethereally in the elemental domain. These ascended beings are known as Midius. Uh, it's possible for common folk to be blessed by a deity and become Midius. Other Midius are manifestations of a deity themselves. Whether they began life as common folk or not, they're all Midius to us. Ora, ora, a soothsayer. Um, I guess we can rest and level up. We will level up stamina. Is this... What gives us stamina? Uh, one agility. Attack. Well, that makes us way better with the weapons. This is defense. Nothing gives us more stamina? Okay, then we'll just go with agility. Um, what is this? Does any of this give us agility? Become, increases the chance melee range attack not becomes critical, critical strikes, okay. Arrows replenish while resting. Ball arm proficiency, I guess. I mean, we are using one. Not aware of you. A sword master in nimble dodge reduces stamina. Dodge stamina cost. There we go. Yeah, I'll take that. And do we want to rest? I mean, it really wants us to rest. Look at that. Rest. Um... All right, here we are. Oh, yeah, this skull here that wants us to ring some bells. Oh, look at that, floating skull. Oh, look at that, judgmental stranger. Um, Who are you? Oh, I don't want to bore you. My story is uninteresting. I'm just an everyday troublemaker. Yeah, but how did you become a floating talking skull? What do you mean, floating talking skull? I'm just a folk like you. If you look down, you can clearly see my... Uh, oh, I suppose I am a floating skull. Ha! Ah! <laughs> um, oh, look, there are three bells. On the tower scattered around the docks. I want you to shoot them down. If you do, I've got something for you. Um, but why? Because it would be funny. Ha 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 Leave. Uh, all right. I mean, I'll do it. I said I'll do it last time. I'll do it this time. I didn't find a single bloody bell, though. So, didn't go so well. All right. Come at me. You're an idiot. Yeah. Cheaper to dodge roll. Love it. Um... Heliposts are cast a short distance away. Ah, I bet that's how you get across that gap. You get to that chest. You'd have to run all the way back. I wonder if the um, the checkpoints allow you to teleport between them. I wonder if they're fast travel points. I don't... I haven't seen that as an option. So maybe you just have to slowly walk back, which would suck. But yeah, I didn't even get to go up into that town. I was just playing around here in the, in the docks. And then I realized, hey, I'm not freaking recording. So this is, you know, five more minutes of gameplay here. And, uh, oh, you know what else? I was like, how do I get to those items? And now I know. Now I know we cast that spell. But I can't cast it because I'm a big loser. So let's try, though. Activate. Not proficient. Well, there we go. I wonder if we... Uh, if we just put one, if we level up again and we just put like one thing into spell casting, if that's proficiency enough for us to cast like a little spell like that, that would be cool. And we could get to these other look other places. Tiny fight, tiny ooh, tiny spider figurine. Nearly what? Uh, nearly slept with the fishes there. Nearly sleeping with the fishes. Um, yeah. Let's get this archer then, whilst the other guy's around there. Yeah, good Chop you up. Don't want you to be shooting at us while we're fighting this other guy, if you don't mind. Imperial Halberd. Um, I remember, that one's a two-handed weapon. Um, I do like having my shield available, so we won't use that. I was out on the catch the other day, and I couldn't believe my eyes. I turned toward the city, and it was glowing. Shimmering bright green. It lasted for a moment or two, then vanished. When I told my ma, she said I'd been out in the sun too long, but I know what I saw. Fisherman. A fisherman? Yeah, good year. Yeah, good year. Yeah, good year. Done. We're done with this little area. Still need to look for the bells. Where did I get to? 
Oh, I saw there's another little puzzle up there. That sounds... That looks good. Always up for a puzzle. No items, no items. I think I just literally walked... I went up there, fought this guy here. Oh, I like... Ran up here to get this item. And the guy ran around to find me. Alright. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you attack there. Oh, no. Oh, God. The, the... There we go. Oh, my God. Still have life. We messed around with that guy a little bit too much. Lost some lost some life. But no worries. We've got, we got three Estus flasks, and we can always go rest again. We don't have to go all the way out to the docks each time, so... We'll save ourselves some some time. Um, I'm gonna take some fall damage here, and I'm worried about how much fall damage I'm going to take. Yeah, not good. That almost killed us. And now we're back. All right. Imagine that. Imagine being like, ah, oh, close to death, and then you just go. Full health. You just feel totally revitalized. That would just be insane. The weather's been acting mighty strange. Ships going out to sea have uh, come back saying the tide wouldn't let them leave. And now I've got city folk telling me there's a cult around here to take over the Empire. It's all madness about so I'm going to moor here till ships clear and sail to move on to town and yonder. A sail moored at Viridian City Docks. That's what people talk like where I'm from. And that is not a joke. Unfortunately. Chop, chop. That was a crit. That was like a double crit. Um, so I think I haven't read this book. See yourself when I return. Go here to hide my hit, find my hidden things. In the echelon, there's a courtyard. In the middle of the courtyard is a basin, usually with a lit torch nearby. Follow the torch's direction for about 18 paces until you reach a building with rails. Turn left, 13 more paces. Take a right in the section, go about 15 paces. To the left, there's some foliage. Search through and interact with the foliage. It should be there. Um, in Echelon, there's a court guard. So where's the Echelon? There's nothing up here. But I will try to find that treasure. I do like that they've hidden it in there. Making sure that you're reading. Are you paying attention? Because that's how you find the secret. What the hell are you? You are an evil plant. An elemental lockpick? What are you? Tog? Vera? Hey, over here! Is this plant talking to me? Yes, I am talking to you. I have a proposition for you. Um, what do you want? There are vials of magic water in around the city. With those vials, I can grow tall and strong. If you come across any, bring them back to me. I'll make it worth your while. You bet I will. Stone vessel, once again. No use to us right now. We will... Oh, yeah, yeah. We will activate you. But I won't... Rest yet. There's no reason to do that. Is this. I mean. Really? You don't think there's a way to get around this door? You, is, you couldn't just, I don't know, sneeze on it? That's magic for you. That's magic for you. That door is being held up by a sorcerer's spell, for sure. Concentrating on that. Today's combat manual is about defense. Combat lesson number two. Blocking. To block an attack, hold your weapon or shield in the direction of the attack the attack's coming from. When the attack lands, most of the damage will be absorbed. Even more so if you're using a shield. Blocking costs a bit of stamina, so be careful not to run out. Combat lesson number three. Dodging. If an attack is too heavy to block, you probably want to dodge. Dodging costs quite a bit of stamina. If you time it right, you can slip past an enemy's attack and avoid taking damage altogether. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I like to do. Right. Oh, there's a new type of enemy there. Ooh. Big boy. Big boy, big boy. No, 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 no. We're going to try and take out this archer. Ooh, I don't want him to come around here. Not ready for him yet. I don't want to take them both in at the same time. He's coming over here. I'm going to try and take this archer out quickly. I don't want ranged spells to be cast whilst I'm fighting big guy over there. Curious wooden tube. That's the second one we've got. Worth some shards if we can find someone to buy it. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get yeah. you before this guy gets me. Oh, no, he's running. He's running. He's got a peg leg. We know his weakness. Dodge! Right, we're all good. We're all good. It's just me and you now, buddy. Uh, yeah! 
That's... I wanted to do a, a, a launch attack. It's a little bit tricky to do one, I won't lie. Nope. <laughs> You've got to, like, tap at the same time. It's very strange. There we go. Get away. Whoa! Shield broken? Or what? what was that... Does that mean I could have got him for a, a crit or something? Don't mind that. Okay. We'll make sure we take advantage of that next time. If it happens again. Nope. Get away. Take him, take him down slowly. We don't need to be... In, you know, this guy might be like a, a one-strike kill. Yeah, look at that. Two-strike kill, maybe. So, I said be careful, but um, I just... I did dodge, but it hit me anyway. I, must, I just didn't dodge at the right angle, I guess. And he hit me on the backswing. Whoa, you can do it too. Well, so can I, but I'm going to hit you. Because you are a big, slow dum-dum. I'm going to miss you as well, because I'm a big, slow dum-dum. Yeah. Whoa. Boom. Get him. Shot. 67. Don't mind if I freaking do. I think we have to wait till 200 before we level up again. Skullbasher. Definitely not strong enough for that. Um, so, this is VC. VC to Y. Um, that's FS, FS to VC. FS, 2, 1, 2, 3, VC. And over there is FS... So, also to VC, I suppose. Yes, no, we're not going to... Whoa, you did block that. That was a good block. That blocked a lot of damage, my friend. Did block that, though. And that's... Oh, my God. You're getting good with that sh shield, my guy. Yeah. Oh, my God. You went back for another swing. Oh, the stamina on this kid. Come on, now. I know what you want. I know you want to attack me. There you go. Yeah! I got him. I didn't think it was going to hit. So, VC also, right? It worked. Oh. Lovely little chest for us. Dancing flames. Garbage little chest for us. Not for us. That's the problem, isn't it, really? It's not for us. It's for a wizard. I see a shop or something over there. But first, let me just... Quickly jump up here and then hmm, fall down. Doc's alcove key. Isn't that all the way back to the ship? That is all the way back to the ship, I know it is. Oh my god. There's a bell! Ah, oh, a bit too low. Way too low. Okay, let's go a little higher. What a shot. What a shot. Lin Shao. Up again. Let's go to this guy with a giant hat. So this is, yeah, this is one all the way back to that shit. What a pain in the backside. Ah! Dark Souls! Open up. Yes. All right. You, sir. Mm, my hat tip sideways. Who are you? Yes, I'm Lan. I'm a merchant watching the roads for adventurers like you to come and sample my wares. You're looking for common folk like me? How's business? Uh, it's not so well. Shade kind make poor customers. Shade kind. Have you been keeping your head in the sand, Wayfarer? Yes, shade kind. They're the common. They are common folk who have no souls and will do naught but midrada's bidding. There's no saving them. You're looking for common folk like me? <laughs> yes, I'm looking for folk like you. I see the spark in your eyes. Yes, I've watched this world fade away, and instead of running, you've found a reason to fight. You're looking to ascend Midrada's tower and slay her. It's the only way to unshackle Viridian from her curse and save a few common folk. The few common folk that are left. Arr. You must first slay her three closest guardians. Foul behemoth creatures who draw their power from the life force of Shade Arr. Once the guardians are slain, use their shackle keys to open the Starlight Cavern's entrance beyond the caverns Midrada's castle awaits. Yeah, no. Hey, hey, you've got a long road ahead of you, Wayfarer. You should stock upon some of my goods for your journey. So, my name's Ian. I-A-N. Um... The correct spelling. Uh, but it's not as... Actually, it's weird because it's not a... It wasn't a common name here at all. Nobody knew how to say it when I, when I first arrived. Even though 
if you just read the the letters I A N, Ian is how you would say it in Spanish, and in English it'd be like Ian, right? So I don't know why it's more difficult for Spanish speakers to. Anyway, I guess it's just not a common name. Although since I've been back, I've seen a bunch of kids called Ian, so that's weird. But still not common enough in like the public's eye, right? So when I use Uber or something like that, they always say, or even Amazon, is it for LAN? Because my, the I of the, <laughs> they don't, it's like the capital I looks like a lowercase L and they just assume, because they don't know it's I, A, N's a weird one. So they say LAN. So I get my, I get called LAN all the time in Mexico. LAN? And I just, I, I, I can't even correct them. I'm just like, yeah, I'm, I'm LAN, whatever, bro. Um, stock up some of my goods. Let me see. Hey, of course, Wayfarer. Anti-venom. I don't want any of that stuff. What I want... Ooh, no, 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 no. What I want is... What is... Magic waters. 2,500? Um, I will sell you... This. I'll sell all, and I'll sell all... And I'll have a lot of shards. Oh, these are shards. Yeah, it's souls, obviously, innit? 2,500 to help out that, that thing? The tuning oil. Craft a tuned weapon. No, I, I need this, but it's a lot of shards. I can level up a bunch of times with that, so I'm going to just level up instead. It would be nice to grind out some shards and, and see what's up with that plant, but we, we're not going to be doing that. It'll take us all freaking day. Uh, level up. Um, I do want some intelligence then, because I want to be able to cast Venom Staff. Uh, no, I want Cantrip. I guess not damage. Tribute. I don't want to do damage. I want to be able to cast spells. Spell costing zero mage crystals has a chance of granting this character a mage crystal. Uh, curse hand spell and attacks have a chance of cursing enemies. Flame, call defense, mace mastery, mana fun. Increases the number of mage crystals replenished when resting. Staff mastery. Yeah, let's do that then. If that's going to help us, maybe. Can I level up again? How many do I need? 400 next time. Okay. So, can I do the teleport now? We're going to go check if I can do the teleport because if I can, then I will go back all that way to the very beginning and get that chest and i'll go open that alcove's door which is a long long way back um i won't lie it's a long way back so let's let's go um from like here i guess want to cast near activate not proficient not proficient so what does that mean proficiency zero out of three is there any way to increase that then? Missing proficiency, it says. Dock Ascendant. We just could have done it as well. I didn't realize it would have told us right there. We needed Shock Ascendant. God damn it. Now I need more. More stuff. You know what? Maybe we can sell some more stuff. Get 400 souls. Spark shards, whatever. Let's, let's try to sell some stuff. We can sell basically everything that isn't the weapon we're currently using. So who cares? Um, you sell, you sell, you sell, um, you sell, you know what, the venomous bull look, sounds cool, but you know what, sell, we'll keep these two, you know what? we won't even keep these, sell, 574, we're gonna go level up again, and I'm gonna choose shock, which is bad, because now I'm getting two levels in, in, something I don't need. Level up. Needs to be here. Next. Shock Ascendant. Spell casting. What the hell is that sound? Right, let's go test it once again. See if we can get these two items here. This would be awesome. This would be really awesome. And we can go back and get that. Over chest. And go through that special door. I don't know how we'd get across there, though, to be honest. Nia. We need one that's far, right? Don't cost mage crystals to cast, so that's nice. Tribute spellcasting. Casting any spell costs stamina, casting spell with no stamina. Will cost health instead. Ooh. 
Ah, uh, problem solved. But it's going to cost us life if we don't have the stamina. So now we want to stand here and we can use the fire spell. Very clever. Boom! And now we've got Skull Spew. Sweet! Once again, though, how annoying is it to have to go into the menu every time? Shh, there's got to be a better way. I don't believe there isn't. It's just we haven't been taught how. And I don't... I mean... Game? Options, maybe? E-binds? Hotkey 1? Like, how do we... Favourites wheel? How do we favourite stuff? Efficiencies. So yeah, now I need to get back into toughness and stuff. So, can I... Oh, favourite. Ah! Favourite. So we... This needs to be favourite one, actually, doesn't it? Obviously. Then... This. You know what? Then... This needs to be favourite two. This needs to be favourite three. This needs to be favourite four. This needs to be favourite five. We're all good. Thanks for telling me about the favourites wheel. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great tutorial. Pop up after I've already discovered it on my own. Excellent. Um, yeah, this is great. Near and far. It doesn't... Oh, it does say near and far on the name. So, let's go back then. Oh, that's cool. All right, we figured it out. I had to figure it out, but we uh, we did it, and now we can quick swap. I was just com I was complaining about it. Oh, it's so annoying. You, to, you know, I'm, I don't really want to change between my bow and stuff because of this. Um, but now we have no excuse. Oh, hello, you again. And that's why I never used that attack, because that's exactly what happened the last time I played this game. I could never get a hit off. Now we know kind of when to use it. Get absolutely smashed. I think I need, like, probably 600 souls now, shards, to, uh, to get done what we're going to get done, to level up again, but it's all right. That was just bad. Oh, we can kill you in one crit now, one little, not crit, but, like, uh, charge attack. What do we call, what do you call them in, in Dark Souls and Bloodborne? You call them... They're not just like heavy attacks, they're called something. They have a name, they have a specific name. I can't remember what they're called. Damn, what are they called? Wow, that sucked. That sucked. I'm not... Oh! No, 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 no. I'm not fucking around with you guys. I'm not having this ranged attacker shooting at me. There you go. You've just ended this fight for us. No, you haven't, because I'm so bad. My guy is just useless as hell. There we go. Right, well, you have no one to protect you now, so that was a bad move, wasn't it? Come here, little guy. Hmm, probably shouldn't have missed that. Yeah, that's not going to be good for you, to be honest. Let's go, we'll get that door second, Len. Let's walk back up here. I'm excited to see what's in. It's gotta be good. That's the mate. It's better be a good item up here. I've run all the way back. I've run all the way back. What are you doing? At least try to shoot me. <laughs> you big muppet. That was silly of you. I guess we're going to murder you. As we go past, might as well just let you keep walking for a bit. Oh, uh, that wasn't very nice. Why? Are you serious? You didn't see him? Oh, he's got an eye patch. That's fair. <laughs> I like that they've included his his um, blindness as part of his his character, part of the character, the enemy design. Right, we have to run all the way back up here. A little bit annoying. I wonder if you can do anything about, you know, because you can cast near and far. It would be nice to see how far and how near it does cast it. Um, because you can just, we could just kill ourselves here. We could just like cast it incorrectly and then just fall to his death, right? I guess we need to get as far as we can. 
Maybe we need to go like there first, actually. So far, activate. Yeah, you see, we're just gonna die. Um, so, not good. We're gonna have to use this uh, resting point and get his healing back, which is fine. That's fine, because it is right here, so no worries. But yeah, it's a little strange. Like, I wish I wish I could see how near and far it's gonna cast. I mean, don't know why it's trying to like trick me uh, with that. Like, oh, you guessed wrong. I'm like, mm, yeah, I guess I did. We need six two five. Six two five to level up again. I tell you what, though, this demo is it's forty five minutes. We still seem like we've got a little bit left, and I do like having to solve these puzzles. Running back not so much fun, but I like that the there is a reason to go back. I like that we've kind of uncovered some stuff. Right, so probably just near. I just do like this and do like near. Ow! All right, well, if we get right to the edge maybe and do near. We're running up here every time, not great. Yeah, I wish it would just show us how far it's gonna go before we cast it, but what are you gonna do? It, uh, it wants to troll us. Thinking there must be a way. There must be a way to hold the spell and not cast it if you don't want. Maybe. I don't know why I'm going into the menu every time when I've discovered that we don't have to do that. Let's get right to the edge this time. Not you. Q. And we'll go near. It just it just says confirm. Oh, we are on it, but it's not enough. So we either get a little bit more over the edge. Shut up, you. We get a little bit more over the edge, which is basically falling off. Or we cast far from further back. So, once it's it's just it's this weird, silly trial and error. I don't really get the point of it. Enemies nearby. Oh, crap. Excuse me. De I definitely outran the enemies, so I don't know what it's saying. That far. Please just let me rest. I don't want to run all the way back down there for no reason. There we go. Right, let's try it again, I guess. Let's bloody try it again. You know what? Maybe we could just cast near from far from here. Maybe it would just hit. Let's get. It did. It worked. All right. I figure. Oh, so that's only worth a hundred. So it wasn't fantastic, to be honest, was it? We came all the way back for it. Could have been, could have been like a, a a a golden spider instead of a silver one or something worth three hundred. You know, uh, that that is was definitely not worth the time and effort it took to to get back here. So that's that's a little bit lame. But what are you gonna do? We've still got the door for that room that I'm hoping is a little better. <laughs> Don't know what you're doing, but, um... You, you almost did it. You almost got a shot in. Uh, you tried. And that's what counts. That's what counts, guy. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I mean, you're dead now. But you tried. You gave it your all. You don't have, um, you know, great accuracy with an eye patch, I'm sure. Although, no, 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 you should be totally fine with an eye patch. You don't need depth perception unless you're trying to, like, snipe. Okay. Yeah, boy. This better be good. This better be real good. Ooh. Ooh. I'll try them out. I'll try them out. It is for our character, so it does feel right. It does feel only right to try them out. I like the green glow. You know, I was saying that the art style as a whole, I mean, it's not super amazing to look at, but I kind of like it. It's nice and simple, just like the, the game itself. It's like a very watered-down, simplified version of, like, a Soulsy game, you know? Um, the combat is simple. The puzzles are simple. It's it's just a nice, nice little action... Um, what do I want to say? Just just a little... A rumble, you know, it's just it's just fun just to just to mess around in the world that we're in. 
Right, let's see how that poison does. 16, 16. Hey, you know, I'll tell you what, that, that does do a lot of damage over time. Did an extra 32 damage in a in a second or two, so I won't complain. And these are faster, so they are way faster. You're not poisoned. You didn't get poisoned. That's the problem. 16, 15, 14, 13. Wow, yeah, that did a lot. Ooh, and we got a rare item. We got another spider. All that way to get a spider, and that guy just drops him for free. We've destroyed one bell. We need two more bells. Let's rest up, and we're kind of back to where we needed to be. We've still got that other puzzle to solve, don't forget. We need to find the... Where did we need to go? I thought there was a guy behind me then. I thought I heard something. Um, we needed to go to the... What did he, what did he call it? <laughs> we'll figure it out. We can run straight up here. And then straight up there. Um, but we need a lot more souls, so we can't just be selling stuff. Hey, there's a book there. I'll take that. You tried. That's Once again, that's what matters. 61 and 61. I'll tell you what, man. It's... it's Ain't nothing to sneeze at. But you know what they say, the Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to sneeze at. Okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, I chased you all the way up here. Oh, but there's a chest, so it's totally worth it. Ooh! Heavy. Uh... But I wish I could have tried it out, but no, only Bra or whatever his name was. You can use that one probably. Decently anyway, I guess. I don't You're not poisoned. I'm not happy about that. Now you are, so no you're not. Fighting off that poison is somewhat fierce, my friend, but you know what? It got you in the end. You only have so many legendary resistances. Wasn't there a book around here? There's got to be another bell somewhere. We'll grab this item real quick. What are you? Curious wooden shoe. Another one. Tube. I was an American, and there's this book to read. Yep. Not so. After a lot of practice, Cabba's defense is passable. Let's talk about attacking. Uh, combat lesson number four, standing melee attacks. There are many ways to attack. Standard attacks are well balanced, while bash attacks have lower damage, but high impact force. Ah. Combat lesson number five, moving melee attacks. Start, starting to move forward while attacking at the same time. Um, at the same moment, transitions into a lunge attack, a powerful but hard to aim strike. Ah! Dashing while attacking, transitions into a dash attack, a powerful attack. It's good for initiating combat. I agree. I agree with all of that. You seem like a puzzle. I, I feel like I need to set you on fire. If I had a fire spell, I do have a fire spell. If I could cast a fire spell, I would. Occasionally, I've seen an outlandish figure moored in the docks. He's always wearing a big diver's helmet, so I couldn't see his face. When I asked him, uh, uh, asked around about him, no one could tell me this figure's true name. Folk always just called him the Hydronaut. An older gentleman did mention that long ago the Hydronaut began feverishly searching for precious artifacts far out at sea and hasn't stopped searching since. I was warned that the Hydronaut is very dangerous and never to get close to him. I'm going to fight with Hydronaut. He's going to be the first boss. He's the guardian. There's got to be another bell to shoot. I can't believe I've only hit one so far. Oh, oh my god, immediately. I was joking. Immediately. I was joking. Game, come on. Get poisoned. I'll just let this poison kill you. I don't care. You're not very good at attacking. And I'm really fast at attacking. And this poison is... Decimating you. You can't hit me. You are useless. You suck. Oh, that was a very disappointing fight. That guy was garbage. Greater shade kind defeated. 
That guy sucked. Oh, I don't know what I got for that. I pressed E too fast. Echelon key. That's what we're looking for. There's a bell tower over there. I can see it. And I guess there's one further up there. Okay. And an elemental lockpick for that other chest. Go around here. Why am I going back around here? I just thought maybe did we miss something because I kind of just ran into that fight real quick. We're okay, right? Yeah, we can get back down. I'm in a lockpick so we can go get that other thing. We have a lot of souls, shards, whatever you want to call them. Where did that guy go? He's over there. We don't really want to fight this guy. He's going to just be a pain to, to do it all again. Uh, we do have health potions. But you know what I'm thinking about? This here, it's use it to gain two extra mage crystals. Characters with a mana and precision should automatically craft three mage crystals every time they progress to a checkpoint. But this is um, this is a one-time thing, right? You know what I mean? Like, I've used one, so I can't use it again. So I can't if I have so many spell casts and that's it with this character. This guy's just going to be a douchebag, isn't he? Can I just... I can't aim, so... Oh, it's auto-aiming, because I'm aiming on him. Yeah, we shouldn't have uh, got rid of the, the poison bow, but we needed it. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just go back to this. We'll sell those other ones. You know what? If we're selling, we might as well just run down here anyway. Goodbye. I'm not going to fight you. You're annoying. We'll run down here, and we will level up, and we will sell, and not level up again, probably, but we might get close. I'm very tempted to try and set this on fire. I, I think I have to. Flaming shield breaker. Do you think we could do it with this? Uh, no. But let me... First we'll equip this again. Stop taking me back into there. And then maybe we can just do a little scorch. Flame ascending sit. So yeah, we can't do that. Not proficient. Perfect. <laughs> Just to even cast a spell, you need to level up in that specific area. I think that's a little bit too much. Should be able to cast a spell crappily, right? I just saw that box loading. Did you see that? It just, like, fell out of the sky. Had some physics. Um, let's trade. So, sell. Um, there's very little point in me having this. Or this. Or this. So that's good. Um, there's very little point in me having many of these as well, to be honest, but I'll keep them just in case. You know what? I won't. We will keep the teleports, of course. But everything else is pointless because I'm not going to level up in that area. And sell all of those. Sell that. We have a lot of souls, baby. Shards. Sorry. A lot of shards. A lot of shit. Shards. 